there is one last thing I just want to make sure we're all kind of aware of here. So last one is shift right four, um, vertical shift three, and reflect the y-axis. And basically what the question is asking, write the equation given the transformations. So now I'm going to give you the transformations, and I'm going to give you some parent functions. So I gave you these three. And basically what I'm asking you is, can you rewrite the expression? And the, so let's just go ahead and do a first. So if I'm shifting it right four, that means I'm going to subtract four inside of the function. Would you guys agree? And there is a vertical shift of 3. That's going to be outside. And reflection of the y-axis, that is going to be inside. So therefore, f of x should look like this. So I want you guys to pay attention. When I did this, I used parentheses. Because if you don't do parentheses, you're going to get it wrong. Obviously, vertical shift is outside, so that has to be outside of my general function, the x squared. This has to be inside, and this is obviously inside. But again, if you didn't put these parentheses, that's not the same answer. Because when you, get rid when you distribute, this is what you get. You get negative x plus 4, right? So that might be the answer on your multiple choice, right, or something like that. It might look like that. So you got to make sure you understand how to simplify. And now the nice thing is I understand what's nice about this is this is what's inside my function. This is what's outside. So now if I want to do these other two functions, I just need to really know where's inside, where's outside. So for the exponential function, inside is really the power. So therefore, I can write this as 3 times e to the negative x plus 4. For the trigonometric function, it's sine of. So whatever is that you're taking the sine of is going to be inside. So therefore, I could write that just like this. But my main important thing, I want you guys to see, again, the placement of the 3. Do you guys see how that 3 is all represented on the outside? Whereas everything else, the negative x plus 4, how we represent those on the inside. Because every function is different. And that's what's kind of confusing. Every function on that graph is different as far as how we, use, how we represent inside and outside. Yet, they're all very similar to each other. Okay, So let's just do one more example. We see a shift down one. We see a horizontal compression of 2. And we see a reflection about the x-axis. So reflection about the x-axis and the down 1 is going to be on the outside. And then the horizontal compression of 2 is going to be on the inside. So if I was going to do a here, I'd have f of x. What am I doing? I don't know. Um, let's see, that's going to be a negative 2x squared minus 1. There you go. So notice what's outside and what's inside. And then for b, so g of x is going to be a negative e to the 2x minus 1. And h of x is a negative sine of 2x minus 1. Anybody have any other questions on those? I don't remember.